everybody! It's -a me, Maddie, back with another cosplay tutorial video. This time I'll be showing you how I made Peach's Piranha Plant Bouquet from Super Mario Odyssey. Here we go, all the rails. Don't you know it's time to raise our sails? It's freedom like you never knew. Don't need bags or a pass. Say the word, I'll be there in a flash. You could see my head, it's off to you. The supplies I used for this include one to two four ounce bags of white model magic foam clay, three four inch styrofoam spheres, a white floral foam cone, two sheets of thin craft foam, sheer white fabric, pink ribbon, 18 gauge floral wire, red, white, black, dark green, and light green acrylic paints, Mod Podge, Quick Seal, a hot glue gun and sticks, a retractable utility knife or an X-Acto knife, a Dremel, a heat gun, sandpaper, scissors, wire cutters, paint brushes, a palette, and a pencil. Optionally, you can use an airbrush to paint. To begin, I traced guidelines onto the ball where I wanted the piranha plant's mouth to begin and end. I then cut into the foam about two inches deep along those lines with a utility knife. Optionally, you can also use a Dremel by using the Easy Lock Metal Cutting Wheel. After cutting, sand the inside with a sanding Dremel bit. After that, sandpaper. If you end up having some cavities like I did, use a little bit of quick seal to fill up the remaining holes, and the inside of the mouth becomes nice and smooth. After this dried, I painted each sphere with two coats of red and then a coat of black inside the mouth. After the paint was dry on each sphere, I used Model Magic Foam Clay to sculpt the lips, teeth, and spots directly onto the spheres. to fully dry, so I waited overnight for those to harden. Once the pieces were stiff enough, I covered the piranha plants with a coat of Mod Podge. Moving on to the flowers and leaves, I created both a petal and leaf template to use to trace onto the craft foam sheets. There were six petals on each flower, and a total of five flowers, so I used the template to cut out 30 petals total. 
I layered each petal on top of the next to create the flower shape, adhering with a dot of glue between each petal layer. I used my hands to cup the flower into the general shape I wanted, and used a heat gun to form the petals into place. When the foam is heated up, keep the form until completely cooled, then let go. Watch your hands, it can get hot. Once back to room temperature, they should stay in that position. Curve each petal inward under itself and heat into position. a leaf template as well to use for each of the five leaves. The process for this was the same as the petals. Once the flowers were taking shape, everything could be painted. I applied two layers of dark green acrylic paint to the leaves and a layer of Mod Podge to the flowers. I used my airbrush to get the gradient paint effect I was aiming for, but it's totally optional. I recommend it, however, because I love the results. Using a light lime green, I sprayed the inner crevice of the flowers and a small spot in the center of each leaf. For the stamen of the flower, I cut up three small pieces of floral wire and inserted them into the center of each flower, adhering with hot glue. On the tips of the wire, I added a drop of hot glue, trying to get as spherical a shape as possible, and waited for it to completely dry. Once dry, a little ball was created, and they could be painted with yellow acrylic. Finishing touches, cover the floral foam cone with a small piece of sheer fabric. Adhere in several areas with a few dots of hot glue. Be sure to leave enough fabric hanging off the top and bottom to cover the entire cone. Using the wire cutters, I cut two floral wires in half and inserted a wire into the bottom of each piranha plant. Secure with a bead of hot glue. Insert those into the top flat edge of the cone with equal spacing between each one. I made sure to put my two favorites in the front of the bouquet. Each flower was then attached around the cone by adhering with hot glue. Make sure to apply pressure to the flower when adhering, and wait to let go until the glue is completely dry. For extra stability, I glued one of the petals to the flat part of the cone. The leaves were also attached with glue to the sides of the flowers. Lastly, for the final touch, a pink ribbon was tied around the bottom of the bouquet. Ta-da! 
and that's how you make Wedding Princess Peach's Piranha Plant Bouquet. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that this video helps if you decide to make this cosplay on your own. Future cosplay props I'm planning to make include Maka's Scythe from Soul Eater and Sion's Guitar from Show by Rock. So, thanks again for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed. See ya!